Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it has been a Godot-heavy week, and that is for sure. So we've got a couple of uh, things this week. Uh, we've got a... Uh bundle of assets for the Godot game engine, which is cool. On top of that, I covered uh, the behavior trees in Godot using the Behave plugin, but the big announcement was no doubt this one. Godot 4.4 was shipped, and what I said is Godot 4.4 was probably the best release of Godot yet, and I sold to that. I actually think that this release was masterful. It was one of the best releases they have ever done, if not the best release. So definitely good news for Godot. Well, today we've got even more good news for Godot, especially if you were in the world of XR slash AR slash VR. It's a very confusing acronym space, but basically if you work in virtual or augmented reality, you're going to like this. There is an update of the 2025 Godot XR community update, and the biggest thing here for sure is their new Meta Toolkit extension. Now Meta, uh, the Meta Quest, uh, of which I own Quest 2 and Quest 3, they're probably the most, well they are the most successful VR headset out there by quite a margin, and now they have better integration with the Godot game engine. So they have created the Godot Meta Toolkit. This is a GD extension plugin that fully uh, exports the uh, platform SDK of Meta. So we'll look at what exactly what that means in just a second. Provides uh, tools to simplify and accelerate XR development on Meta's platforms. The project is open source. It was maintained by W4 Games. W4 Games being uh, the company formed by a number of the principals in the Godot project. Uh, so they're funding this one as our meta themselves. So we've got uh, also uh, contributions from the community as well. So it is now available, the Godot Meta Toolkit. This is on top of other XR updates that have happened. And what they have done is they've integrated in the Meta Platform SDK. What exactly does the Meta SDK provide? Things like user profiles, so authentication and checking entitlements, in-app purchases, downloadable content, friends, parties, group presence, achievements, leaderboards, and much more. So support of the platform SDK in the Meta Toolkit is done using code generation, which automatically generates the Godot classes by processing the platform SDK's official C headers. This approach simplifies keeping the Meta Toolkit up to date with the latest versions, or latest updates to the platform SDK, uh, and provides Godot APIs that match the platform platform SDK C, Unity, and Unreal APIs. As of version 1.0.2, the uh, Godot Meta Toolkit supports the V72 version of the platform SDK. Getting Started Guide is available. They also did integrations of the simulator. Now, the simulator enables you to do VR development without having to put on a VR headset. Now, ultimately, you're going to need VR headset to try these things out, but the simulator definitely means that you don't have to leave your computer, don't have to plug in a machine to test things out. So uh, this is a counterpoint to the Godot XR editor. It's another option that is available to you. You're going to see configurations are available under tools, configure, configure Meta XR simulator. Uh, it allows developers to test XR applications directly on their computer. It's available for Windows or Mac. So sorry, Linux folks, I think you're out on this one. Removing the need to constantly put the headset on and off and leading to faster iterations. Uh, Godot editor can be configured to launch the Meta XR simulator when you run your game. And the Godot Meta toolkit includes a tool to help you with that configuration. So documentation is available on that. They've also set it up so that it is easy to export for MetaQuest headsets. Uh, basically, it is a checkbox. So click there, enable Meta Toolkit, click on. So when exporting your game for a MetaQuest headset, in particular, if you want to release on the Horizon OS store, there are a number of specific required export settings. Godot Meta Toolkit provides a new export option that if checked, will automatically configure those settings for you. And then we've got updates to uh, XR generally. So XR is run by the Kronos Group, the same people behind OpenGL and Vulkan. It's a standard interface for all VR headsets and AR headsets across not just uh, Oculus. So everything we've talked about to this point was Meta and Oculus specifically. The new stuff is for all headsets. Uh, so they updated to version 1.1.41, added an option to enable head tracking on Pico devices, added this setting right here, uh, project setting to enable, disable automatic requests for runtime permissions, and added the export profile for the Magic Leap 2 devices. Do they still make Magic Leap? I thought they went bankrupt. Anyways, uh, you'll see here again, a number of bug fixes available as well. So that is it, that is the new update. There are some requirements here. So the XR tools have been updated to contain the Godot 4.2 mesh formats. So you're gonna to need to use Godot 4.2 or higher. Although it does actually say 4.3 in another area. So one of those things you want to be aware of. Um, so also some changes to the scripts 
uh, and way that objects work and so on available there as well. So uh, on the whole, nice updates to XR in general, the XR SDK, the XR integration in Godot. And then we have this new GD extension, the Godot Meta Toolkit, which is being built automatically from the uh, Meta's platform SDK. Uh, so if you're interested, the Godot Meta Toolkit is available. This is an open source project under the MIT license. Um, again, new release available over there. Details about how to build it and how to use it are all available over here. Uh, and then we have documentation over the platform SDK. So again, the kind of things that this thing provides, you get an idea. We, we covered a bunch of them earlier on, but you've got other things here, leaderboards, challenges, uh, various other people, asset files, cross device, web hooks, and so on. So all of this stuff is now exposed over to your Godot app. It is using an extension, so obviously you're going to have to install the extension. Uh, but there you go. All of this functionality is now available for XR developers doing their work in Godot. So the big development there uh, in terms of Godot users, uh, then again, it does say 4.2 or higher, but I saw somewhere else in the documentation 4.3 and higher. So uh, you're going to want to go with either 4.3 or 4.4, I think. But if you're doing VR development, you're probably going to target the Quest because it's one of the most important headsets out there. And having that SDK built in, uh, or at least as an extension, is definitely going to make your lives easier. So let me know what you think about XR development in Godot in generally, the MetaQuest in general, and MetaQuest integration in Godot specifically. All right, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.